Good afternoon. Thank you, for all thank you all for joining us today. I, I am Phil Televini, Director of Athletics here at Bluffton University. And before we get started, I, I want to uh, thank uh, Heartland Collegiate Athletic Conference Commissioner Chris Ragsdale for uh, making time in his schedule to be with us today. So thank you, Chris. For, I very much appreciate it. On behalf of the search committee, I am pleased to introduce Denny Dorrell as Bluffton University's football coach. Denny is a graduate of Hanover College. He has served in coaching roles at Thomas More, Marietta, and at his alma mater, Hanover College. At Hanover, he was the defensive coordinator, recruiting coordinator, and academic coordinator. In his years as a coach, he has led teams and individuals to great successes in the classroom and on the field. These teams, defensive units, and student athletes have garnered recognitions from their conferences, state athletic associations, D3Football.com, and ESPN the magazine. Coach Doral impressed the search committee with his organization and passion while keeping focus on the student athletes being students first, completing their educations and winning both in life and on the field. I want to welcome Coach Doral, his wife Sarah, and their family to our, our campus community. Coach Doral. Thank you very much. Uh, it's an honor and a privilege. I'm very humbled to be able to stand up here and be the uh, new head football coach of Bluffton University. Um, first off, I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Harder, um, Phil, and the uh, search committee, as well as uh, just the great people of Bluffton for uh, giving me this chance and this opportunity. It, it means a lot. It really does. I also want to give a quick thanks to Coach Stokes. Um, I'm very fortunate that I'm going into a situation here where the past month and a half, nothing has been getting done. And that's been the case that a lot of places that you see when transitions occur, uh, Coach Stokes has taken the reins and he's ran with this program. He's got the guys working hard academically, guys got the guys working hard in the weight room. And to me, that makes my transition so much easier when I know that this program is going in the right direction um, during, during this downtime with, uh, with the coaches. Uh, there are some people that I want to thank. Um, you know, my coaching tree that you know, I've been a part of, uh, Phil named some you know, places that I've been. Um, my head coach when I played at Hanover, uh, C. Wayne Perry, uh, was a great role model, great example. Uh, coach Dean Paul gave me my first job um, at Thomas Moore College. Uh, coach Hallett, Mike Hallett, gave me my, uh, my first job as a defensive coordinator when I was 25 years old. He believed in me at that time. Um, Jeff Fikowski, when I was at Marietta, really gave me a chance to grow as a coach and grow as a person. And then uh, Steve Bottendistle, the head coach at Hanover, um, you know, is a great friend of mine. He's been, uh, these last two years with him has been great. Um, and more importantly, the last 15, 16 years that we've been uh, friends um, obviously means a lot to me. Um, my philosophy, I think, is important for everyone to know, all right? I'm a small town kid from a small town area in southeastern Indiana. Um, I grew up in a small town called Brookville, Indiana. And if you ask me what my coaching philosophy is, my coaching style, uh, it goes back to that, all right? It goes back to, to my parents. It goes back to the family farm that I was, grown, uh, I was raised upon, all right? Um, my dad was very, very tough when I was growing up, very, very demanding person. Uh, he demanded discipline, demanded hard work, and he understood uh, how those traits, if you can instill them into your son, the type of man he can grow up to be, right? And then when I would go inside after a day of working outside with my dad, and then there's my mom, right? The most nurturing person you'll ever meet in your whole entire life. She'd wrap her arms around me, she would uh, comfort me, and she would say, you know, uh, she would let you know how important you are. And I think when you look at me as a coach, I combine those two things very, very well. I'm a perfect mixture of my parents, right? I'm going to be tough, I'm going to be demanding. I'm going to expect discipline and I'm going to expect hard work because I know the value that can get you. But at the end of the day, I promise you, I'm going to wrap my arms around my players. I'm going to let you guys know how important you are to me and the places uh, that you hold in my heart, all right, and know that I'm going to get you to the best places possible because you're going to know how important you are to me, how important you are to this university, and how important you are to this football program. And uh, so that's who I am, all right? That's who I am. Again, I'm a small town kid from a small town area who uh, basically bleeds the principles that my parents taught me at a very, very young age. Um, well, I think it's important to know, too, why Bluffton for me. Um, when I, the job came available, I started inquiring around about Bluffton. I actually, obviously played against Bluffton when I was in college. I knew a lot about it, but I didn't think I knew enough. And I called some people, and I was inquiring about people, and everything that came back, what someone would tell me is they talked about how great the people are at Bluffton University. 
And when, uh, when, when I hear that, that intrigues me and that inspires me. And then when I come on my interview, there was no question that everything people told me was correct. They talked about, uh, they, they, they talked about how great the people were and I was able to witness that firsthand. And uh, to me, when you're surrounded by great people, great things are possible. And uh, I can't wait, uh, can't wait for that to happen. And the second thing is why, why Bluffton for me is, you know, when I drove onto the college uh, or the university, when I drove into town uh, for the day of my interview, I felt like I was home. It felt that way to me. Uh, this is exactly the environment that I grew up in. Uh, this is exactly uh, the type of community that I was surrounded by when I was growing up. And I cannot wait to raise my kids in an environment like this because I know the values that a community and a, and a university like this can do for you. So those are the two reasons, main reasons why uh, Bluffton University for me. Okay, um, and, the, and looking forward and looking to the future, all right, when you talk about Bluffton University football from this point forward, all right, you're going to see a passionate program, all right, you're going to see players that are going to be energetic, you're going to see players that are flying around and doing things the right way, and I'm going to be setting the tone and setting the example with that myself, all right, I'm going to challenge my players, I'm going to say, this is where you have to be in order to play great defensive football, all right, or great football on the offensive side of the ball, great defensive or great special teams football. This is where you have to be, all right? And I'm going to challenge our guys to go above and beyond that because when you're there, all right, there's nothing like it in the whole entire world. Football is a passionate, passionate football, or is a passionate, passionate game. And if you want to play it and play it well, play it with passion, play it with enthusiasm, and I think that's what you'll see in our, in our football program. You're also going to have a program that's going to be heavily involved in the community and the campus itself, all right? I am, again, a product of a community like this. I am a product of a liberal arts education, and I know the value and what, a, what impact a football program can make within those two, within those two places, all right? And our, uh, and our program will be, from day one, all right, making an impact positively, you know, in both the, uh, both the university and both in the community itself. And last thing, you know, the main goal, we have one goal, and, and Phil kind of hit on this, the main goal is to graduate players, period, all right? And we're, we're going to do everything we possibly can, all right, to make sure that this four years that these guys are with us is the greatest experience of their whole entire life, all right? And that way when they graduate from Bluffton University, all right, they can go out, they can be positive role models, they can be positive representatives of this community, they can go out and they can be great fathers, they can be great husbands, and great, be great employees someday. And that's what this program is going to be based on. Um, and then the last thing is, you know, so my wife is running around out there, but I do want to introduce her um, and introduce uh, a couple of my uh, kids that are here. Um, don't know if she'll be able to come up or not. So she's coming. This is, uh, this is my wife, Sarah. Um, you know, being a coach's wife is not necessarily the easiest job in the whole entire world. Uh, she does it daily with grace. Uh, she does it daily with, uh, with beauty, and I can't wait until she can wrap her arms again, around the players that are here, because she's going to be an awesome first lady uh, for Bluffton University football. Um, we have three kids, all right? Um, <laughs> there's one of them there, uh, but one of them is uh, home at sick. He's not feeling well. He's home with grandma. He's one. Uh, his name is Dylan. Um, and then we have a set of twins who will be three on Saturday. Um, so life is very, very busy in our household. And uh, this one here, I'm surprised he's not hanging from the projector yet. <laughs> but uh, this, is, this is Dexter, uh, and this is Kate. Um, and so and along with my son Dylan and my wife, um, you know, I'm very, very fortunate and very, very blessed to do what I love with a family that supports me. And we cannot wait, I promise you, to get started here and uh, get this program to where we all expect it to be, which is winning championships. Okay? Um, and for, if uh, there's anything that when you guys walk away from here, um, I want you to think about one thing. And as we stand up here together and my kids are running around like mad, but uh, Bluffton football from now on is all going to be about family. And uh, so we're perfect representatives of that. We are so excited to get rolling in this community. We're so excited to, uh, to take Bluffton University football uh, to unprecedented heights. So I, I thank you. Um, I thank you all for coming. If you have any questions, you know, we'll be more than happy to answer them. And go Beavers.